First of all, thank you for coming out and thanks for having me here tonight. Um, I guess the, the question that I'm supposed to respond to is what have I seen in Wisconsin, what have I seen in Milwaukee that relates to this play? And if you read my bio, there are several things that are mentioned there that I do. The one thing that I do that I think most closely relates to what we've seen tonight is a project that I work on that you may have heard on Milwaukee Public Radio or read about it in the journal Sentinel. It's uh, Precious Lives. And it chronicles the lives and the deaths of young people from this community who have been killed in gun violence. Um, this play brings back a lot of the conversations that we've had as producers of that project, <clears throat> excuse me, um, where we talk about the accessibility of guns, the unnecessary uh, handling of guns in our community. We talk a lot about bringing people who are typically not close to these kinds of incidents, uh, closer to them by way of these stories that we tell. It's a 100 part series that we've been working on now a little over a year. And each week we try to tell the story of a young person or their family or their friends uh, that have been impacted by gunfire. And I think this play does that too. And for people who thought maybe that they would never be impacted by these kinds of actions, they were rudely awakened to it. And that's what we found as we've talked about these projects or about this project with the subjects, uh, with the people and community groups that we've met with, that this can happen, happen and it is a random act in many cases in that some of the people who are the victims as well as the perpetrators are suddenly brought into these somewhat tidal waves of, of, of violence. It's not necessarily a way of life, but incidents happen. I think the play touches on maybe a question of mental illness, and that's something we don't talk about a lot in our community, and that drives oftentimes the violence that brings about these kinds of incidents. So um, for me, seeing this uh, kind of solidifies and reinforces the idea that the work that we're doing with Precious Lives is important because again, it keeps for us and for those who hear the stories, uh, the reality of the people who are the victims, the reality of the people who are the perpetrators. It also seeks to, and I think our primary objective is to bring people who think that none of this touches them closer to it. So uh, in that way, it's a very close relationship, I think, that I've been able to feel and seeing the production tonight and knowing the work that we're doing. So again, thank you. Mm -hmm.